Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, CD bulk people and envelope people. And welcome to Ghost Town Making Stuff. And due to some scheduling problem with things, there is no excuse anyway, so I did my, uh, what you call it, um, emergency idea bucket, which is uh, take and only use one color of plastic and see how it turns out. Uh, that failed. Uh, because I couldn't find a good base thing for the, for the, the parts. But, however, we made this beautiful, beautiful squid helmet. Which has some quality issues. So let's get going! So we're starting here by taking this uh, plastic jar, my favorite things to use, and uh, putting it on the face like that, cutting out the handling thing, and you have this uh, this uh, pointy face thing. And now we're going to take a different uh, jug and also put them together, something like that. It turned out a little bit different, so it looks like this. And uh, well, this is a very good base to work from. Uh, because I have any black base. Now this is the inner uh, holding for uh, air protection wings and the other things are for flower pots when you buy really small flowers and going to regrow trees and stuff like that. And the black things that up was something I ended up didn't use. So forget about that. Anyway there you see there they are the flower thing that I used it from which I have uh, cut in angles and I'm making holes here to put them on with some zip ties. Now, see how fantastically lovely this looking here with this squid face thingy. I never know what these things will turn out when I take the parts and try to think them, but sometimes it results, it result in good result, I must say. Anyway, so there you see. Now, the eyes can have very, very different expressions, expressions depends on how they are placed. On a thing. They can look very surprised and very cartoony and like that. Uh, what is it, Dilbert or whatever. whatever. Anyway, so now we're gonna put them on the side there to get a proper octopus thing looking. And so I have this plastic uh, Easter egg thing here, which I'm going to cut out a little glasses there yeah, and like that. So we're gluing it on the inside with hot glue and it will be fantastic indeed. So I have now cut some holes and now I'm drilling. The little holes there to put on the little um, paper clips there and uh, unfolding them. We will later remove these eyes when we are going to paint it, so it's a very good. You can also do proper bolts to this. It's up to you. I'm just working with what I have here. He also looks a bit like a rhino with a nose thing going on there. Uh, anyway, so now we have this CD bulks uh, thing here, the end cap of them, which I just removed the. the whatever, the, the, the little tube inside of there. And this is scrap from the, when I cut them outside. And you see, there's the rest of the air uh, protection thing, which I just glued on top there. Now we're going to take and cut it all off with this cutter. I don't remember the name of it. And you see, flat black, and it looks amazing. Uh, just took it out and spray booth and done it. And now we're going to reattach the eyes so it will see something properly. Because it's good to see things with your eyes, even though you can't see shit in this because you can't see straight forward. But it looks cool, it's style of substance. Now, I am making holes here and putting the octopus um, hoses to the back there. Because I didn't really plan this, so we'll see if I can attach this to a costume at some point. But you see, it looks lovely. Now, you see, it, it has a big problem of this thing coming out here, but whatever. Uh, I didn't come up with any interesting idea, interesting ways to paint this, so it's just black, but uh, if I find out something I will uh, make a part two of this. But that's you and now you know how to make a robot squid helmet for the times you need that, which is every Tuesday in months, I think. Thank you for watching!